Washington is headed into the final four games of their season and kicked this last part off with a game against the Lions. Chicago and his team are currently sitting at 11-1 atop of the entire league, with their single loss so far coming from the Cowboys in overtime. Chicago has gone back to his regular self the second half of the season so far and is going to look to continue that play as he gets ready to take on Detroit. Starting out with the ball first and 10, it's going to be a handoff to Ramon Mays. He's going to hurdle a defender and he's going to break a couple tackles. He would bring that down to the 48-yard line. Now play action, pressure coming. They would get to Chicago Robinson in the backfield, back to throw. He gets it off just in time to Cooley, as that would be a six-yard pickup. Now third and 10, back to the 48. Going right side, that's going to be completed to Hankerson, forced out of bounds. Down to the 17 with less than a minute to go here in the first quarter. Robinson completes it to Hankerson again, and he would fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown, but Detroit would tie it up at seven apiece here, as that's going to be completed to Winfield. A tight window, but Robinson would find a way to fit it in as now it's going to be a halfback draws to Mays who picks up the first down. Dropping back to throw, single setback, pressure coming, they're going to get to him again. Second sack of the day for Detroit defense, but now Ramon Mays has a big gap up the middle as he would pick up the first down and Washington would have to settle though for a field goal headed here into the second half. Down by four to the Lions, Robinson looking to orchestrate a touchdown on this drive. A long third and 13 though to keep this alive, going right side, that's going to be completed to Winfield for a first down. Second and inches now, single setback, pressure coming as Robinson's going to escape to his left and pick up the first down. Down to the 26 of Detroit, back to throw, scanning, going across the middle, and he's going to connect with Armstrong. That would bring up third and inches with less than a minute to go here in the third quarter. Robinson rolling, he's going to throw to the end zone, knocked incomplete. As we would move to the fourth quarter, down by eight, 21 to 21-13 to Detroit. Robinson looking to tie the game up on this drive as they'll need a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Second and 10, just under a minute and a half to go. That's going to be completed to Hankerson up the middle. He's going to take it down to the one-yard line. Robinson back to throw to the end zone. Mays has it. He's going to be stopped just short on second and goal now. Robinson looking, and that's going to be completed to Banks. He holds it in for a touchdown, and now to tie it up, Robinson scrambling around. Pressure coming. That's knocked in complete, and Detroit is going to manage to hold off Washington would stop the two-point conversion, and they're going to hand them their second loss of the season. It wasn't a bad day for Robinson statistically, but his defense just couldn't get a stop against Detroit's offense. But even with that loss though, his team was still on top of the entire league and they'd have to bounce back in a primetime matchup here against the Chicago Bears. Washington's defense would get a stop on the opening drive. Now first drive for Washington and their offense as Robinson's going to complete that to Armstrong. Second and six under a minute and a half here to go in the first quarter. Robinson back to throw. He's going to check that down to Winfield. He'll break one tackle, but then would step out of bounds. Third and five. Only picked up a yard, but Armstrong takes a hit. Manages to hold on to it, though, for the first down. Robinson rolling out to the right. Pressure coming. Almost gets to him as that would fall incomplete. Second and ten now. Ramon Mays taking the pitch right. Slips one tackle and into the end zone for a touchdown. Washington would take an early lead here over the Bears as that would be completed to Hankerson for a pickup of about six. Third and five now Robinson back to throw. Completes it to his tight end Cooley. He's going to hang on to it for the first down. From their own 26 Robinson back to throw across the middle. That's going to be completed to Winfield as he would take a huge hit but managed to hold on to it. Robinson now going to dump that one off to Ramon Mays but he wouldn't be able to hold on so second and 10, Robinson back to throw, gets it off just in time. It's going to be completed to Winfield down the right sideline as he would have it for a first down. Robinson now hit in the backfield. He would be sacked for a loss of four, looking to come back as that's going to be knocked in complete. Third and 14, can they convert? Pressure coming, almost gets to him in time again. They would force an incomplete pass. And Washington would take back over on the next drive on third and three as Robinson would pick up the first down on his feet. Though pressure coming this time, he's going to avoid one tackler and he's going to take off again on his feet. He would pick up five yards, setting up third and five. Yet again, Robinson out of the pocket. He's going to be just short though of the first down. Fourth and one, they're going to go for it. Winfield holds on to it and that is going to be a first down for Washington as it's going to be a play action. Robinson back to throw left side. That's completed to Hankerson who has the first down from the Chicago 11. Robinson back to throw, setting up the halfback screen to Mays. He's going to hurdle over a defender and will be pushed out of bounds. Second and four, play action. Robinson 
Rolling to his right, there is a flag as he's going to take this in himself. And it is going to be a holding against the offense. So that will negate the touchdown, backing it back up to second and 14. That's going to be completed to Armstrong. But that would be ruled incomplete. So third and 14 now. Cooley has it, and he's going to take it into the end zone. Washington is going to go up 14 to nothing as we move to the fourth quarter here against Chicago. That would be completed to Winfield, setting up a third and six. Handoff Mays, he's going to fight his way forward. He would be stopped just short though, so Washington is going to go for it to seal the game here. That's going to be completed to Armstrong. They would pick up the first down, second fourth down conversion of the day, and to top things off, Ramon Mays into the end zone for a touchdown. And that will do it as Washington is going to bounce back and get a win against the Chicago Bears here at Soldier Field. And another excellent performance from Robinson, plus the win this time, which would give his team a four-game lead of the division, and they would now be facing the last place Philadelphia Eagles in their division. They've been without Michael Vick at quarterback most of the year due to injury and have had to rely on rookie Alex Fijanovic. This hopefully should make the game a little bit easier for Robinson and his team. Washington's defense would force an early turnover here and get the ball with great field position as that would be completed to Armstrong down to the one yard line. Robinson to Gronkowski for the touchdown. Not Rob but his brother the fullback whose first name I can't even remember as that would be completed on a slant route for a first down. Robinson right side, Cooley has it. He would pick up six with that reception. Robinson now back to throw across the middle, completes it to Winfield who finds his way into the end zone. And Washington would go up 14 to seven over Philadelphia. But Robinson takes a sack on that one. Third and eight now across the middle, completed to Cooley for a first down. They have been converting all day as we move to the second quarter. Hankerson wide open on the out route. Robinson perfectly fitting the pass into that window as now he's escaping the pocket. He's going to step up himself and pick up the first down. First and goal to go from the nine. Robinson to the end. Zone Winfield has it. Another beautifully placed throw from Robinson, this time for a touchdown, as now he is going deep with just over a minute to go. That's completed to Winfield. We have to take a look at this replay. Robinson throws it up deep, and that is going to be deflected off the defender's hands and hauled in for a catch down to the Philadelphia 20. Back Backed up to the 24 now after that sack. Robinson looking. He's going to step up and sacked again. We would move to the second half now. Washington with a 10-point lead, 24-14 over Philly. From the Eagles' 34-yard line, Robinson going to the right. That's going to be completed to Carlson. Facing now a third and four. Pressure coming, setting up the halfback screen. They're all over Ramon Mays. So Washington would settle for a field goal and are only up by six now, 27-21. But Halo is going to break a few tackles and he's gonna take this all the way to the house for a touchdown they would go for two here to extend the lead but could not convert it would not matter though as they would kneel the clock out and Washington is gonna walk away with a victory here over the Eagles at home as Robinson had a 200 plus yard and three touchdown performance in a great outing and with that win Washington has officially clinched a playoff spot and a win here in their final game of the season will clinch them the number one seed in the entire NFC. Going up against the Kansas City Chiefs, first play of the game for Washington is going to be handoff to Mays. He would pick up a first down, second and seven now. Robinson going right side, completes that to Winfield for a first down. That comeback route has been a deadly route combo for the two of those, as now Mays is going to take this to the end zone for a touchdown. Washington would go up 7-0. Robinson back to throw, gets that off in time. That's going to be completed to Cooley, who's going a slip a tackle. First and 10 from the KC 21 across the middle. Winfield has it and fighting his way into the end zone. They would go up 14 to nothing now looking to extend this lead even more as that's completed to Cooley. First and goal from the four. Robinson to the end zone. Completes it to Winfield again. His second touchdown reception of the day is now Ramon Mace. He's taking this one from their own six and he's going to bust off a huge gain. Third and eight now. Less than 30 seconds to go. Completed to Hankerson across the middle. Now a 
first and goal. Play action. Robinson rolling out to his right. He's going to throw. Cooley has it diving for a touchdown. And that is going to wrap up the season as Washington is going to walk away with a win. And they would clinch the one seed here against the Chiefs at home. So even though the year started slow for him, Robinson finished with his second best career stat line. Ramon Mays followed up his spectacular rookie campaign last year with a great sophomore season this year. Jared Winfield did seem to have a step back though production wise, but he was battling with injuries throughout the entire season. Nonetheless, Washington finished the season at an impressive 14-2 and will be taking on Atlanta in the first round of the playoffs.